Danger Zone 1, Episode 1, All Fired Up, The Hottest Case Yet. City, rookie. No such thing as a quiet night. Even crime has to slow down on some occasion. Right? Don't hold your breath. Interceptor 03, this is dispatch. We've just received report of an explosion on Delta and Fifth. Please investigate. We're on our way. been demolished. What a mess. Fire department's got their hands full with this one. Help! Somebody, help! What's going on over here? This guy just collapsed. Maybe he breathed in too much smoke? He was standing one moment, then hit the ground the next. Looks like he's still breathing. Hey, mister, you okay? D yeah. What happened? That's what we want to know. Come on, let's get you on your feet. Give him some room, people. Wait. Now I remember. My factory! It's ruined! This building was yours? Yes. I'm Rena Saffron, and this is my partner, Madison Winter. We're with the Pallid City Police. The PCPD. Am I glad to see you. Are you aware if anyone was still in the building when this happened? No. No. Factory production shut down for the day. Not more than a few hours ago. It should have been empty inside. Yeah. <sighs> That's good. No one was harmed then. What was your factory making? My company, NuGen, manufactures heavy exo loaders. My name's Benson. Benson Tyrone. Uh, Mr. Tyrone, what exactly are heavy exo loaders? They're power suits used in construction. When worn, they augment the wearer's strength to aid in tasks that require heavy lifting. So basically, wearable forklifts. Well, a bit more complex than that. My company is in the construction business ourselves. We have countless contracts around the city, but last year we began producing these exo-loaders to use at our sites. I'd hoped, in time, to start expanding our contracts nationwide, mm. but... So that's all you were manufacturing in that building? The heavy exo-loaders? That's right! You have to find out who did this! What makes you so certain someone was responsible? Maybe this was caused by equipment malfunction or the unsafe storage of volatile material. Have you been keeping up with safety regulations? Absolutely! My factory was up to code on everything. Do you know anyone who would have wanted to do this? Maybe someone with a grudge against you? Off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone. But someone was definitely behind this. That you can take to the bank. So much for a quiet night, eh, rookie? Fancy place you've got here, Pfizer. Just get in here, quickly! And look at this sign with your big bold letters. Onyx Construction. <laughs> nice name. Well, look at you. Turned over a new leaf and gone legitimate. Almost anyway. But a plush office doesn't suit you. Neither does the construction business. Deconstruction is far more amusing. No one seen you come in, did they? I was discreet. <sighs> Good. You did it, right? The job's done? Up in smoke. Just like you asked. And no one was killed? I didn't light anyone up. Though I can't say I wasn't tempted. I told you, nobody gets killed. I want new gen out of business, that's all. Remember, Drez, I'm the one paying you. You torch the places at night when no one's there. That was our agreement. How quaint. A criminal with a conscience. If things go south, I just don't want the cops coming down on me for being an accomplice to murder. Can't stand the heat, can you? Neither can you, Drez. Look at those hands of yours. You play with fire long enough and you're bound to get burned. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. The fire makes me feel alive. The day I lost my hands was the greatest day of my life. I had set off my masterwork, my explosive magnum opus. 
a blistering manifesto of untold carnage and exquisite beauty. Seeing it was like undergoing a rebirth, born from a fiery embrace of a phoenix. Losing a few appendages was a small price to pay. Besides, these cybernetic hands are so much more practical in my line of work. You sick, Dress. Good thing there are sick people like me out there, huh? Or spineless little worms like you wouldn't have anyone to hire to do their dirty work. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a fireworks show to plan. This one will be a real grand guineal. Remember, no one dies! Ashes to ashes, Pfizer. Ashes to ashes. <sighs> that maniac. What have I gotten myself into? Uh, why did we come to the firing range again? I told you before. It's where I think best. Besides, you could use some practice, rookie. Well, that's true, I do, but... Hey! Just once, you could try calling me by my name, you know? My name's not Rookie, it's Rena. R-E-E. -E. Quiet, incoming call. <sighs> this is winter, over. We've just received a call regarding a suspicious individual near the Selco District, on the corner of Ventura and Lang. It was reported that he'd been carrying what appeared to be a large package while trying to forcibly enter a building. What building? Could you give me the details? Records show that it's a warehouse owned by Benson Tyrone of the Nugent Corporation. The warehouse's operation hours are over for the day. No workers should be entering or exiting the facility, and we've been unable to contact any of the on-site security personnel. We'll check it out. One more thing. We've just received the crime scene report for the Nugent factory explosion last night. They discovered remains of a C-class explosive, a very intricate one at that. I've checked with the PCPD database. That type of bomb is extremely rare. Thanks for forwarding me the report, Sarah. Winter out. Wow. So someone is deliberately targeting Nugent, just like Tyrone said. And tonight, we catch them. Let's roll. You sure this one's the new gen warehouse? Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. I don't know. It looks pretty peaceful out here. That's the problem. No security in sight. And check out the surveillance camera. It's been deactivated. You think the guy we're looking for is already inside? I'd count on it. Take a look at that door. Someone's forced it open. Guess we're going in then. Huh. Uh, maybe we should call in the bomb squad. You know, just in case? Stow it, rookie. Stay out here if you're afraid. I'm coming! I'm coming! Well, it's kind of creepy inside. And dark, too. Make sure your weapon's safety is off. I know, I know. Madison, over there! Someone's on the floor! A security guard. Is he...? No, still got a pulse. He's just unconscious. You heard that? Sounds like it came from that room over there. It's an office, but no one's here. But something else is... that beeping noise. Yeah, I hear it too. But where's it coming from? Uh, maybe... Shit! What is it? We found our bomb! Well played, ladies. You've gone and discovered my little present. A bit early, though. Tisk tisk. Freeze! Hands in the air! All right, all right, you got me. <laughs> Not that it'll matter much in three minutes. Three minutes? What'll happen in three minutes? Boom! This whole place will be turned into cinder. So, what's it going to be? Arrest me, or disarm the bomb? And keep in mind, that's no ordinary C-class explosive. That baby will take out the whole city block! <laughs> You're bluffing! Am I? See that clock over there? Two minutes and 46 seconds left. Madison, what are we gonna do? We still have enough time to disarm the- Son of a- Took my eyes off the bastard for a second! He's locked us in! Hate to cut and run, especially on a couple of hot babes. But trust me, it'll be a lot hotter in a few minutes. Catch you later. Or not. <laughs> Forget him. We need to disarm this bomb. Now! What are you doing? Won't the bomb explode if you- I'm just removing this panel from it very carefully. We need to get to the wires inside. That's a lot of wires. I don't know which one to cut. Wait, how'd that saying go at the academy? If you've got something, now would be a good time to spit it out. It went... No, that wasn't it. Maybe it was... Nah, not that either. I may have fallen asleep during the bomb disposal course. 
you never fail to not surprise me. We don't have time for this. I'm cutting yellow. Oh, I remember. Yellow before red, end up dead. What? All right, we'll go with red. Yeah, seems like a good choice. Here it goes. Cutting red. Wait a sec. There was something else. We don't have... Red before yellow will kill a fellow. Fine, blue. I'll cut blue. Blue before white and it'll be a bad night. Okay, going for white. White before blue is always taboo. We're running out of colors here. Try orange. Nothing rhymes with orange. Did it. Orange is cut. It's still beeping. Damn it, we only have 15 seconds left. Cut another. Which one? All. Cut all of them. It... It actually worked. Phew. That was way too close. Now what are you doing with the bomb? We're bringing it back to the station for analysis. This isn't your average run-of-the-mill bomb. Maybe after taking this thing apart, we can gather some clues as to who we're dealing with here. And then we were locked in this room in the warehouse and the bomb was live, so we had to disarm it, but cutting the orange wire didn't work and I was sure it had to be orange, but they didn't remember from the academy because I slept through the course. Not that I slept through every course, of course, but then we disabled the bomb, but the perp escaped and- I'm aware, Officer Saffron. I have the written report right in front of me. Yes, Chief! Sorry, Chief! I also have the crime lab's analysis here. What's the deal? They compared the bomb you brought in last night to the one from the new gen factory bombing two nights ago. I've been on the force for 33 years. I've seen my share of bombs, but never ones like these. If they're that uncommon, it should narrow down our list of suspected bombers, right, Chief? I take it not just anyone could make one of those, and I highly doubt someone that good hasn't already built up a nice criminal record. A few years ago in New Metropole, there was a series of bombings. Investigators found that each bomb bore a unique signature and that they were wired and constructed a certain way. The person responsible was a man named Drez Vargo. He's got a rap sheet a mile long, so I won't bother you with the details, but the guy's a certified pyromaniac and damn good at it. New Metropole Police thought that he died in one of his own explosions, but they never did find a body. But what does he want with Nugen? And how are we going to find him? His Nugen connection's a mystery, but we might have a lead worth pursuing. In both bombs, the crime lab found something peculiar. The primer used for these explosives is distinct, mostly used for controlled demolitions. And this particular primer is also extremely outdated. How does that help us? Only one factory in Palat City manufactures those primers. They shut down six months ago, but we were able to get a hold of an old invoice list. Their last shipment of those primers had been sent to Warehouse 7E, located in the Garland Fishing District. Garland? That whole district's been abandoned for years. Exactly. And that warehouse in question is derelict property. The city still owns it after last year's drug bust. Come on, Rookie. We've got work uh, to do. I told you! The name's Arena, not Rookie! Yeah, yeah, just keep walking. I don't like this dress. Why do you insist on me meeting you here, in the stink-ridden warehouse? This whole district should have been condemned years ago. Aw, sorry the accommodations aren't up to your standards, Pfizer. Your fancy office was too stuffy for me. Besides, I think you need to get out a bit more, breathe in the air. Life can be so boring sitting behind a desk all day. What happened last night? You said you'd take care of the Nugen warehouse. It's still standing! I ran into a couple minor complications. The police are onto us, aren't they? No need to get hot under the collar. They'll be dealt with soon enough. No, now this is getting out of hand. I'll find another way to deal with Tyrone and his company. Our, our business together is over. You know, Pfizer, something told me you'd say that. But it's too late. When you play in the frying pan, there's only one place left to go. And tonight, we're going to put an end to Nugent entirely. Starting with Tyrone himself. Damn it, Dress! I just wanted Nugent's facilities destroyed! Don't you understand? My construction company will be out of business if Nugent produces those heavy exolotus. You know what those power suits will do to the industry? With that tech, Tyrone will get every construction contract across the city. Hell, forget the city. Globally! No one will want to deal with companies that don't have exolotus. I revolutionize the business and I'll be left in the dust. Sad story, Pfizer. Got a smoke? You brainless fool! This business was my way to go legit, and now it's being trampled on. Sounds like you wanted to be legit in the wrong business. Did you hear that? Keep your voice down, you'll hear us. And keep your head down, too. Oops, that 
Gotcha. So, New Gen was being targeted by a rival construction company, and Drez was just the hired hand. But who's that guy with him? I recognize his face from the PCPD criminal database. Name's Len Pfizer. Has a lengthy record of shady business dealings, forgeries, and fraud. Your typical second-rate scam artist. Guess he didn't stay clean for long after his last trip to prison. A little heat comes down, and look at you, Pfizer. You're terrified. Your problem is you're not motivated enough. Well, have I got just the spark of inspiration you need. I want no part of this, you maniac. I made a big mistake hiring you. Freeze! You're busted! Don't, don't shoot! My hands Get are on up! on the floor and we'll be All nice right. and easy. All right, I'm down. Don't shoot! You too, Drez. Well done, ladies. You found me. But hey, you follow the trail, and you know what they say. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And where there's fire... There's me. Madison, he's reaching for something in his jacket. Get down, Drez, or I'll put you down. Shit, it's a detonator. You had your shot, cop, and you missed. Two minutes till this place goes up in flames. Drez is heading for the catwalk. I can see that. Get Pfizer out of here. I'll handle Drez. But you just heard what he said. In two minutes. Move it. There's no time to argue. Okay, okay. Hold it, Drez. <laughs> my, my. Aren't you the persistent one? But you should have escaped when you had the chance. Now tonight's menu will have roast pig on it. You're cornered, scumbag. It's over. Might be worth mentioning. There's over a dozen bombs set to go off any second, one after the other. By themselves, they won't do much. But the chain reaction should make for quite a sight. That'll certainly bring this place crashing down. Unless you want to be caught in the explosions yourself, I'd suggest deactivating them and turning yourself in now. Why would I do that? I'm only getting warmed up. The real fun hasn't even begun yet. Now we're talking. Isn't it beautiful? Watch out! What? Oh. Yes! Damn it! Oh no, no! Oh, no. Madison! <laughs> Stay back. Too dangerous. Fire spot. Getting thicker. What happened? Legs pinned. <sighs> Trapped under a metal beam. Can't budge it. Don't worry, I'm here. Here, I'll try lifting it off. What happened to Pfizer? Don't tell me you let him go to help me. He's handcuffed inside the car. Go! <laughs> You're free! Come on, let me help you. We've got to get out of here. Can you walk? I'll manage. You just made it. That was a close one. But where's Drez? Part of the ceiling caved in on him. No way he could have survived it. Good work, you two. Pfizer confessed to everything and gave us a sworn statement about his role in the new gen bombings. Case closed, right, Chief? Hold it. What about Drez? Did they find the body? The crime scene's a mess. It could take days before we dig through it all, but as of yet, we haven't found any remains. Madison, you don't think he could have... I don't know. It didn't look like anyone was walking out of there. If he somehow did survive, rest assured and we'll find him. What the devil was that noise? <laughs> it was my stomach, Chief. Say, Madison, wanna grab some food? There's a great barbecue place on Revco and Furs. They've got this new flame Yuck, grilled. anything but barbecue. I've had enough smoke in my lungs for one week. I'll just settle for a nice salad. Danger Zone 1. Read the webcomic at www.dangerzone1.com.